Hello everybody and welcome to Square XO's review of the Castlevania collection on PlayStation 4. So, first up, Castlevania collection is made up of 8 classic Castlevania games. Um, these games are pre-Symphony um, of the Night, which means they're not done in the Metroidvania style, they're more straight up levels, that's how the classic games were. So, after everything after, Symphony of the Night seems to have followed the Metroidvania route, but this is celebrating Castlevania's original roots, spanning the NES, the SNES, the Game Boy, and also the Genesis, or Mega Drive as it's known to us in the UK. Um, now, there's no point in breaking, running down every single one of the games, because at the end of the day it's classic Castlevania. Um, they're, they're Nintendo games, they're ports of the original games, there's no changes. Uh, there's nothing like that. So, really going to focus on the emulation in this review. And based on me playing all the games, I'm happy to report that the, the emulation seems to be pretty much spot on. Um, I never noticed any dips in performance. I never lost any lost frames or anything like that that you wouldn't have seen in the original, um, the original software on the original platforms. Uh, another thing that you can sometimes find with emulated games is the sound, and the sound has been emulated absolutely perfectly on these titles as well. Um, it's a really good way to revisit the Castlevania roots, especially if you've never played some of these games before, uh, because it's classic platforming and action, um, basically, that's, that, that spawned a, a, an entire series. It's still ongoing to this day. Now. With most emulation software these days, you get a lot of added extras and, and things like that that you can do, like changing aspect ratios, adding filters to the, the games, things like that. Um, now Konami have added things like that to the, the actual package that you've got. You've got selectable borders, which you can have the Castlevania artwork in the borders, or you can kind of go with plain borders. I've always found having art in the side of the borders to be a little bit distracting, so I, I tend not to bother with that. Um, also, you can apply certain filters, like the you can apply a pixel perfect filter that smooths out the pixels, you can apply a CRT filter. The issue is, I found with all of these filters, they kind of darken and muddy the image and they actually just don't look very good, so I've always pl I'll played every single game on sort of a base settings. Now, with regards to emulation, Everything was perfect apart from the game that was playing right now, and it's the first Castlevania on the Game Boy. Now I don't know if this is due to the limitations of the original hardware and this is how it actually played, but it's really hard to play. Um, the sequel which is shown on the screen now is a um, hundred times better. It handles a lot more like one of the Nintendo, the original NES Castlevanias, there's no real slowdown when you're facing enemies. You feel like your jumps are timed properly, and it was actually fun to play, unlike the, the, the first game, which is the only real black mark I can have against the whole package. Now, I don't like I say I don't know if this was a limitation of the original hardware, but if it was, personally, I'd maybe have not included that game in the package and went with something else because it really isn't any fun to play, and the only reason to play it, in my opinion, would be just to say that you've played it. Now, out of all the games, it's Probably personal preference, but I enjoyed the game that's on the screen at the moment, which is the Mega Drive game. Um, it's a new generation. So you don't go one of the Belmonts, you actually go new Vampire Hunters. Um, overall, it's it's different in style to the original games. It, it plays a bit faster. Uh, the graphics, to me, look a bit better, but I always did prefer the Mega Drive style of gra graphics to the Super Nintendo, but I was a bit of a Sega fanboy. Now when you're watching the video you might notice certain things like the character disappearing. That doesn't happen in the game, that's just because uh, Sheer Factory and the PlayStation limited to share it to capturing footage at 30 frames a second, so it's missing the frame where your character's actually flashing, so don't worry, things like that you see in the, the video aren't actually a glitch, they don't appear like that in the game. So overall, as a package, you're getting eight titles. You're also receiving a title called Kid Dracula that's not shown in the video. But this is a previously unreleased title that was only released in Japan. And it's more of a comedy spin-off of the Castlevania series, starring the so-called Son of Dracula. Um, now, overall, as a, a cost, looking at cost, the game itself is worth every penny. I mean, you're getting eight titles. You're getting a bonus art book as well that's built into the game. Um, emulation is spot on, it's good value for money. 
the filters and things like that they've added don't add much value, so overall I'd probably rate the game at about 7 out of 10. <laughs>